Hey guys, Dan here and uh, Happy New Year! I'm recording this currently on the 1st of January of 2022. Happy New Year! But um, honestly, I hope you guys had uh, very good celebrations. I hope everyone stayed safe during this... During this uh, New Year Eve, I'd say. But uh, yeah, so this will be the first video of the year. And I guess it would be a good start to do it about D&D. I did a community poll a few days ago to ask you guys if you guys wanted D&D content, that being Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition content on the channel, and uh, most of you said yes. And a number of you says, I attacked the, 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 the dragon. You guys are crazy. Don't attack the dragon. Uh, but uh, a small portion of you said that you guys don't know what is D&D. So, Dungeons and Dragons is... Uh, is a table tabletop RPG that uses both physical and uh, tier of, of the mind artifices to actually manage to make a game. For example, there are many books on D&D that might actually help you and explain you the rules, like the Player's Handbook, the, the Dungeon Master Manual, and also the Monster Manual. There are many, many books that you can actually buy or find on the internet for you to understand the gaming, and it's very advised that you do. But uh, d and is, uh, I would say personally, that is a cooperative game for you and uh, your friends to have a fun time together. And uh, I personally, I started to play it seriously almost three years ago. It was on 2000, 2019, I believe, the mid of 2019. And uh, those were some of the best weekends of my life. Just be able to have some close friends to be able to play with you and uh, just goof off and have memes and fun. That was some very cool things to do. But to get that group together, it was very difficult because I had only played one game of Dungeons & Dragons with my, with my first table. It was a one-shot that was hosted by a good friend of mine. He's a, he was a really cool guy to invite me to. And... Um, and after that, I was so hyped and I was so eccentric to play D&D that I was actually... Guys, guys, let's play D&D. This is really cool. Let's play D&D. And they were like, you know, nah, I don't know. Come on, I, I will be the Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master is the one that creates the world and uh, basically is the one that introduced the aspects and, ele and elements of the game to the actual players. There are two types of players, the Dungeon Master and the actual players that will be doing the characters of the game. And the Dungeon Master will do the NPCs, the monsters, and everything else. And I was like, come on guys, I can do the GM, I can be the DM, I can be the Dungeon Master, come on, let's play. Uh, I don't know, I think I have something at that day, I don't know. It can be at my house! Mm. My mom will cook. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I'm, uh, yeah, I'm up for it, yeah, definitely, let's do it, yeah, I'm up for it, I'm, I'm already there. And so my first D&D group was formed. And uh, we went some true movies. D&D, uh, the way I play, is a long-term game, so usually my players change across time for this campaign. I, uh, from the actual beginner, beginner players, I only have two, two of them left from the actual five. And uh, actually, one of them is going to have a one-shot with me because uh, when the pandemic hit, we had to put a complete hold on this D&D because we used to play it on, um, on, um, on my house altogether, but with the pandemic, we couldn't play anymore. So we were like, yeah, let's start another game. Then we come back to this one. And now, after almost two years, we're finally going to come back to it. And it's very exciting. I am very happy to see that. They are currently at level 13 and they took six months to get to level 13 the way I used to play and don't think I did everything right D&D when you start is very messy you will get a lot of things wrong if everyone's a new player but that's okay you need to make a mistake to understand uh, what you did was incorrect or that there was a better way to do it but I, my only regret is that I made them a little bit too OP the, you guys that played before will know how wrong is this, but at level 5, maybe a, one of them or a few of them already started to have like uh, plus 3 weapons. Don't, don't Calm down. Don't, don't kill me in the chat. Calm down. It was a lot of mistakes that I did. But in the end, the world that we created together and that we are about to revisit, uh, it's 
just so great to see. One of them actually. <laughs> the one that I had to put most work at was on actually one of the PC's characters. So my friend, uh, he was not sure he was getting to D&D. And um, he was like, you know what, I don't know if I'll get into D&D, so I'll just make a basic character, no strings attached, and uh, we'll see how things go. And I was like, okay, cool, so what's the backstory of your character? Oh, he has amnesia. And I was like, amnesia. Yep. Okay, I'll allow it. And uh, it's been now... Uh, Almost over three years, and he doesn't know his his full backstory yet, and they're level thirteen. The, but I have to say, this is gonna be a very some some would say mean thing for some of your players to do, but I don't know. I think the main plot of the campaign uh, is actually going so around, but uh, this guy, this player, is actually interested to know where this is always going. And this is one of the most beautiful things that I know about my tip that some of the players they actually like the game and they will stay. And that's one of the best feelings you can get in while playing DD. Knowing that your friends like the game, they want to come back, and they will come back next week, and they will trust you with uh, with having a fun time for a few hours a day. Usually, most people play around four hours. I played that around four hours too nowadays. But when we started, we'd go from uh, two p.m. to 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 nine, the fourteen p.m. to nine. That was what. Uh, Seven hours, sometimes we would go even later, like eight hour, ten hour games. I don't know what was on me that uh, around that time, but I just was a, a lore machine. I would, that was just full improv improvisation, but that was cool. <laughs> it was really cool. And now we're going to come back. We have uh, an actual game set for the third, uh, the, third, the third Sunday of February, so we can get all things together. I can move up with my semester at college uh, easierly but uh, yeah and right now we have uh, we're gonna have four party members a warlock a barbarian a druid and a paladin and yeah i'm very excited i even bought this to actually start uh, to be more organized with my campaigns and i also bought uh, a lot of paper a lot of paper to put it on it and uh, I really recommend you guys to start play D and D if you can. Why? Because besides being a really fun game to have grown a really big community and uh, even to have very good shows online like Critical Role, that is a show where a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors play D and D, it can really help with a lot of problems. It can help uh, alleviate stress. It can help you meet new people. It is mostly. Yeah, when you find the right people, a safe environment to express yourself and to be yourself. That's why around the the D and D community, there is a large portion of it that are actually LGBT plus, and also it's just a really cool way to spend time with your friends. Just uh, just imagining when you actually get into it, this might be a little awkward at first, but uh, when you actually get to play it and you can actually see yourself as your character slaying a dragon. Defeating uh, an iron golem, or or just uh, doing something really stupid in character, and everyone having a laugh at the table. This, those are just some of the best feelings you can get playing this game. And I think that most people that stay that long playing this game is because they also learn to love it, and they cannot live with it without it anymore. That's a really cool thing to have, and that's one of the reasons why I still play to this day. Actually, if not for this uh, December break that we had on D and D because of the well, because of Christmas, the New Year's, and uh, this first uh, week of the New Year, I I I I hadn't had a real break in so long because right now I have a few tables. I have uh, three tables that I GM, and uh, this one's gonna come back. Uh, that is a very high level. This is the most high level campaign I ever did. It was the first one. And I have plans to go to level 20. And uh, sometimes it can be uh, very stressful to do it, to have a lot of things in mind, but it's actually so worth it when people like it. And who knows? Maybe you will like it too. So guys, what do you guys think about D&D? Uh, Are you guys interested? What experience do you have that you guys can tell me? 
do you have a theme or subject that you guys want me to talk about in the end about D&D on the last on the next video of D&D? Leave it down below. Leave a like, a comment, maybe consider subscribing for more content and ring the bell to never miss a video again. And uh, if you came this far, I wish you a very good day and an even better 2022. Bye. Thank you.